Welcome to Operation Research. At the end of this video, you should be able to understand the concept of replacement model, understand the terminology related to replacement analysis, understand the concept of individual replacement and determine the economical life of equipment with individual replacement policy. So what is exactly a replacement model? Now, usually when there are certain machines or any equipment that we use, after some period of time, its efficiency decreases or it fails or there are certain breakdowns frequently. In such cases, we think of replacing that particular equipment with a new one. But what is the best time to replace any equipment or machine? Can we do it with some scientific method and that method is called as a replacement model. Now, if you want to convince your dad to replace your old bike with a new one and here is a scientific technique for that. So, any equipment or machine have different cost. So, once you purchase a machine or equipment, it is having some capital cost and that capital cost is decreases over the period of time right and which can be shown with this graph so you get a less money as time passes there is another uh, kind of an cost that is called as an average operating or maintenance cost so as the time goes on this particular maintenance or operating cost is increasing so there is an one period of time or certain period of time at which there is a minimum cost that is minimum total cost per year for that particular equipment and that particular time is called as an economical life of that equipment and we are interested in finding out this particular economical life so at this point if you replace that machine you will have to pay a minimum average cost. Here is an example. The cost of a machine is rupees 6100 and its scrap value is only rupees 100. The maintenance costs are found from the experience R and we have been given one table in which there are maintenance cost in rupees for eight years right so you can see that maintenance cost is increasing from first year to last year now the question is when should machine be replaced the first thing that we have to do is to find out the difference between price and resale price right so that is the value that we are paying for usage of machine so that is given by this 6100 minus scrap value of 100 so that will give me a cost of 6000 rupees now with this cost let us prepare one table now we have been given the maintenance cost up to 8 years so i have put 8 rows over here and each row represents one year of usage then in next column we have a maintenance cost in next column we have a cumulative maintenance cost in next column we have difference between price and resale price okay so which we have calculated to be 6000 which will be constant for all the years then we have total cost which is equal to uh, this cumulative maintenance cost plus the difference between price and resale price that we have calculated and this average cost will be equal to this total cost divided by number of usage or number of years for which we have been using that machine so let us try to calculate the values in this table for at the end of first year so at the end of first year the maintenance cost is 100 rupees so cumulative maintenance cost will be 100 rupees 1100 and as it is at the end of first year so average cost will be 6100 only now if we calculate it for the second year that is at the end of second year the maintenance cost 
for the second year is 250 so community maintenance cost will be 350 which is nothing but the summation of these two values and 6000 we have already calculated and it will give me a value of 6350 now if we divide it by 2 right so we get an average cost of 3175 now you can see that if you use that machine for only one year you have to pay a large cost but if you use the machine for two years your average cost per year is decreasing let us calculate for the third year so maintenance cost is 400 rupees community maintenance cost will be 750 rupees and your total cost will be 6150 and you can see that your average cost is again decreasing now if we calculate the remaining rows we will get the value something like this now here you can notice at this end of sixth year this value is having the minimum cost right so till this sixth year this average cost is reducing and after the sixth year this average cost is again increasing so we can say that it is better to replace this machine after the sixth year because the average cost is minimum at this point so the economical life of this machine would be six year and it is the best time to replace the same thank you